Hey everybody, welcome back to Cam Good Times. Today I'm going to share and review and test out a pretty cool product that was shared with me by Ridgeline Bike and Ski in Boise, Idaho. And this product is called Fast Stick Glide On Wax. They have a cold weather one and a warm weather one that's great for the spring conditions that we're having right now. I tested this out on Saturday and had an amazing experience with it. Even though it's different from traditional waxes where you rub this on and rather than melting it onto your skis, it stayed on real nice and gave me an excellent glide down the hill. And so today I'll be demonstrating to you guys how to apply this, how easy it is. In fact, it's so easy, I'm going to be applying this from the comfort of my own couch. And then I'll show you a little video just displaying how wonderfully my ski boards were flying through the slushy glades this last Saturday, demonstrating how awesome this stuff worked. It stuck on real nice and really helped me move along through even in super slushy conditions. So let's have a look at it. So the first thing you want to do is use a board or ski cleaner that will, that will strip off the old wax. In my case, what I'll be using is a 91% rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, but that's what that is. <laughs> so you, you just take it and put a little bit, you don't have to put a whole ton, put a little bit onto a microfiber cloth, just about that much. And then what you're going to do here is strip off the old wax and dirt and grime from the board. Just going, wiping up and down, just getting it nice and clean. It's really important to do this step in order to really ensure that this wax bonds on when you rub it on and, and buff it onto it. So it's going up and down, really getting that old wax off. And then it's a good idea to let it sit and dry for a little bit after you're done cleaning it off. And when it's done drying, then you can just simply apply the wax. So when you're applying the wax, you want to first put the cold weather wax onto there, even if it's springtime. The reason being is this is basically the base wax coat that you have on there. And you want to then, if it's springtime like now, put this warm wax on top of it after you buff in the cold wax. And that way it has a nice seal on there. It really, it really penetrates into the ski or the board. So with this, the cold weather wax, what you want to do is um, glide the wax on from tip to tail, edge to edge. And so I'll demonstrate what that looks like. It says you don't want to rub it back and forth and Polishing with a provided pad is optional. But I personally really like to polish it off and give it a nice smooth finish. So it comes out kind of like a deodorant stick and you just stick it right here and go from tip to tail, just rubbing along. The interesting thing about this wax is it's extremely hard. It's much harder than your typical wax. And so even though I've used this a little bit, barely very much has come off of it. And so this little stick should last for a long time, which is pretty cool. So again, make your way on over, go from the front, just rubbing it on real good. Okay. And that's it with that. And then just take another microfiber cloth that you just have dedicated to this wax only. You don't want it cross contaminated with other wax. And then with this, you can just buff it back and forth and rub it on into the board. And it does a great job. It goes right in there. It feels super smooth. You touch it and it feels like a just a fresh wax coat as if you did a hot wax. It's pretty crazy. Now in this case, this uh, there's some 
there's some edges that are a little drier that I still need to apply a little more wax on. And so just continue to go until it's looking like it's nice and nice and coated. It seems like it's, it has good, a good solid coat that will last you. Just rubbing it right on through here. And there's some more on this side that the outer edges usually need a little more love. So just a little more. There we go. See, it really didn't use much. Just a little teeny bit of that came off. Which is cool because with regular wax, you're using a ton of it. And it runs out real fast. Whereas even though this is a, a bit more expensive than regular wax, it should last you a long, long time, which is super nice. So there we go, just rubbing it on there. There we go, that's taking care of it a bit more. That's looking a bit better. And now for the springtime, what you do is just take this block of warm wax and just simply put it on top again from tip to tail. And just going again from edge to edge, tip to tail. And then just like I did with the other wax, you just buffer it on in. My ski board is now fully waxed and ready for the warm, slushy slopes. Thanks again everybody for your support to my channel. Hope you enjoyed this review and again, I highly recommend this fast stick light on wax. I think it's a great thing to have to, to really get those skis or boards or ski boards waxed up nicely. Um, keeps everything nice and fresh and it lasts for a while. Um, I've known of people who have said that they've been able to use this stuff and it's lasted three or four sessions up on the mountain, which is amazing considering how little wax it uses. And so again, if you want to get some of this, you can look at Ridgeline Bike and Ski and they have some in stock there. And you can also look up the Fast Stick website. I think we're going forward in places that are really cool with technology and I'm excited to, to be able to use this in the future just to speed up my process and keep things all tuned and fresh. Thanks again, everyone. You all take care and we'll talk to you again soon.